They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing grandpa's chickens. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate. Right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. So, Mrs. Farmer. Yes. Welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. How are you today? I'm doing really good. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. Ooh, how did that mm, mm. magic pizza dough just appear right there? It's already risen. I made that a couple, couple hours ago. You know what? Today we're going to make a pizza on the big green egg. You know what? Let's call this the BLT on the BGE. Okay. I like that. Get it? I do. But don't have me repeat it's, it. <laughs> it's a BLT pizza. Right. Now, while we were across the ocean, some people over there had a BLT pizza. And it was mm -hmm. delicious. And the whole premise of the thing was basically BLT. Okay. Right. You got all that, but you remember a while back when we made our Caesar dressing? Very good. Our homemade Caesar dressing. Delicious. We're gonna take this, we're gonna roll our dough out, we're gonna put it on the big green egg, and we're gonna get the temperature up to about 600 degrees or more. We're gonna get the thing smoking hot. We're gonna slice the tomatoes fresh. We're gonna take some romaine hearts, lay on there, put our fresh Caesar dressing on mm -hmm. it, and boom, Pizza. we have BLT. That sounds really good. Let's fire up the BGE. All right, we're getting a mighty hot BGE, big green egg, you know. I like that. <laughs> for our BLT pizza. We're gonna put some sauce on here. Hey, you know what? There's another show right there. We can show them how we can our marinara sauce. Now, Nikki and I have a little different idea on this, but here's, here's our bacon. You can put that on top of the cheese, below it, however you wanna do it. But we want plenty of bacon. Cause it's a BLT. Cause it's a BLT. My mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. Does that, that looks good. That already <laughs> smells delicious. Now, we're coming back with the fresh tomato in a little while on the top. That's going to be our cold part, just like you'd have, you know, a regular tomato. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is not going to be good. I should eat it then if it's not going to be good. Yummy. All right, we have achieved the 600-degree mark. Should we celebrate? Let's do it. All right, now, here's your basic pizza. Let's take this. Ooh, is that fire? Where there's fire, there must be pizza. Let's close her down and let her roll. Maggie wants some too. <laughs> All right, now if you notice, the plate setter in there was in a down position yeah. instead of like raised up on the legs. Why'd you do that? I talked to my buddy Michael, who's supposed to be on the show here very shortly. And he said that he's been doing it with those down. Okay. And he says it just seems to work better. Hmm. So I tried it like that and that looks, looks like it turned good. out pretty good to me. Now that we wanted good. a little thicker crust on that. Those were actually two Weisenberger bags two full Weisenberg, of them. Right. We wanted a thick crust. Look at that. that now that's good. mozzarella cheese. Now here's the fun part. If you will, go ahead and cut up our tea part of the recipe. Let's go ahead and You want them thin? Put the tea part. Kind of thin? This yeah, knife is nice. That's perfect. And we'll take those directly. I think that's good. Good. All right. Now, the L part. The best part. And this is just romaine hearts, organic romaine hearts. That looks good. And you know the great thing about this? Hmm. Like all our food, there's no calories. Wow. You know why? Why? Because when you take hickory, particularly <laughs> hickory wood, seriously, okay. and it gets above 600 degrees, wow. As the flames rise, 
they absorb the mononuclear polysmus. So we should make cake on of this. Of the With icing. Yes. Okay. And what happens is it pulls, it pulls every uh -huh. bit of the calories wow. back in to the charcoal that's left from the hickory. Oh. Uh -huh. So actually, again, we're in a deficit in the calories okay. here. We're probably, we're going to lose weight. The more we eat of this, wow. the more weight we're going to lose. Now that's a neat looking pizza. Well, we're not done yet. I've, I love it. Remember the part where we made yeah, our, this, this is the best our part. Caesar, homemade Caesar dressing? Oh, that won't be good. That's too pretty to eat. You're going to have to look at that. Let me take this and put it across here. Yum. Like such. That's, look at that. I like is it. Is that not the perfect? That's a pretty pizza. So Maggie. <laughs> she didn't know she could bark. I didn't think she could bark. Until about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. Then one day, uh, somebody was walking down the hill up there, I think it was Nathan, and she barked. And she, when she did it, she like had this look on her face like, wow, I did that? And she has not stopped. She walks in circles and just barks. And if it's a moonlit night, all night long. Her, 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 More than, her, her. she barks a meter than uh, Moses, I think. It's got a deep bark, Keeps I like the boogers it. Out. That's right. You want to cut it? Oh, this looks so good. I'm afraid, you do it. I don't want to ruin it. I think you do better. You think I do right? And we have some salad left over. We want some salad, some more salad. I'll take that half. That's yours. You don't want us a little bit smaller I'll piece? Take, yes. How about right there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's dig in. It's a big old honking piece of pizza. Yes, right it here. is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know what? It tastes like BLT. There'll be people who say, oh, you got to have your stone in there already. Well, I'll tell you what, when you have something that hot, it's going to cook it. That took about maybe two and a half minutes, yeah. three minutes. It was about 650 degrees, which we like. I looked in there through the top, and you don't want to do that because <laughs> you, well, lost your you might lose your eyebrows. Okay. But, and I watched it. Almost immediately, the cheese was melted. And when you have, if, you, if the stone is not in there, look at the bottom of that now. It's perfect. It came right off. If the stone is not in there and already hot, Guess what? It doesn't burn the bottom of the pizza. Yeah. We actually learned something there. We've mm -hmm. been putting it in there hot. For convenience sake, today we did it like this. From now on, I will never put the stone in there. We'll pop it off on that and bring it out on yeah. this, cut it on that, and I think that's the key. So as we learn, hopefully you learn, that is quite possibly, no, that is the best pizza I've ever yeah. eaten. Yeah. It's like we have our own pizza oven. Oh, my. Better than a pizza oven. All right. You know what? Uh, we'll turn the cameras off. And I'll eat like all the pizza, another four or five pieces, okay. and then we'll go on up to the cabin, the harvest cabin, where we're going to prepare pickled beets. So I'm a grandma with pickled <laughs> beets, and you know what? I, th I started thinking about it. You know, when I wrote the theme song mm -hmm. for the show, it was kind of the mission statement of the show. You know, it's about you know the things that we're going to do, the gardening, the you know the, the making this kind of stuff. But we haven't made pickled beets yet on the beets. show. Right. But you know what? It's time to make pickled beets. But there's something else you can do because the beets are already there. Your mother mm -hmm. brought this to my attention. You came up with the fact that we need to do pickled beets. Then your mother says, I think she misheard you, and she says, you, you're making pickled eggs? And we're like, well, well. Yes, delicious. You need beet juice to make pickled eggs, so you got the byproduct right, right there. Why not go ahead and fire it up? So let's go up and fire up some beets and eggs. Sounds good to me. Can you dig it? I can. Let's eat some pizza. Made in the USA matters. So does quality, value, and variety. It's in every all-purpose galvanized steel tub and tank we make. Head over to TartarUSA.com to find the closest retailer who sells our quality tanks and tubs. At Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, we love to cook on the original Salt Rocks grilling plate. Perfect for your use on your grill, in your oven, on your cooktop, or at a campfire. Using Salt Rocks grilling plates makes an ordinary meal extraordinary. You cannot get it wrong. For exceptional tasting meats, vegetables, fruits, sweets, and more, start cooking with the original Salt Rocks grilling plate now. Order online at www.saltrocks.com or visit timfarmerscountrykitchen.com and visit our store. Standing up on a roof and talking to a camera is kind of extreme. Just like Tartar, extreme challenges. You've got a back brace on, you've got, you've got a neck brace, you've got a helmet. We just want to see how it hold up to the real extreme challenge. Oh, here we go. Woo! We're just testing the product so it really does live up to durable, dependable, and tough. We are taking American-made products to the next level. 
We are Tartar Farm and Ranch Equipment.